Well, we were quite a bit cooler across the region today. Some of us almost 20 degrees or more cooler than we were yesterday, but it was still a beautiful day to get outside. This is a quick check of our camera in Metropolis. We've still got the mostly clear skies out there this evening. That's going to continue to stick with us as we shift overnight tonight. We have a big spread in some of those temperatures. Some of our northern counties a little bit cooler than those southern counties. We've got Mount Vernon coming in at 49 degrees, and then if you push all the way south towards Union City, holding on to 70 degrees. So again, a big difference there. Marion right in the middle coming in at 56, Sykeston at 65 degrees, and Paducah at 61. So again, not a bad evening. It's going to continue to stay quiet as we shift overnight tonight, the mostly clear skies stick with us. As we get into tomorrow, we are tracking some small changes. It's still going to be a pretty nice day if you're wanting to get out and about, but we are slowly going to start to see a little bit more cloud cover making its way into the area throughout the day and into the evening. And then as we get into the weekend, we're tracking a lot of rain and a few thunderstorms making their way in. So the end of our quiet weather is coming. This is a look again at the satellite and radar. We've got mostly clear skies across the area, keeping an eye on that cloud cover that's well off to the west right now. That's eventually going to make its way into the area as we start to get into tomorrow. But again, overnight tonight, we stay nice and quiet, clear skies into early tomorrow morning. I think a good point portion of the first half of the day, we'll be seeing quite a bit of sunshine. It's as we start to get into the afternoon hours that we start to see those clouds that we were just looking at on the radar start to make their way into the area. And aside from the cloud cover, not going to be seeing any rain or any active weather with that. Just a few more clouds around. Temperature wise, going to be very warm. We'll wake up to temperatures in the 30s, but as we start to get into the afternoon, we'll be warmer than we were today, climbing back up into the mid 60s. So another good day to get outside. Storm Track 3 app though, that's what you want to have on standby because as we get into the weekend, a cold front going to start to make its way closer and closer to the area. And as it does, the chance for showers will be making its way back in as we start to get into Saturday evening. And then we'll see some of that continuing to stick around throughout the day on Sunday. But as this system actually starts to push through and this area of low pressure starts to get a little bit closer by Sunday evening and into Monday, we will be tracking some very heavy rainfall and the potential for a few strong storms. This is a look at the severe storm threat. Again, folks that have the highest chance right now of seeing some of that activity are often in the boot heel in southeastern Missouri, parts of uh, western Kentucky, and just the southern tip of southern Illinois. So we'll have to continue to keep an eye on that as we get into the weekend. Just make sure you're staying weather aware, and until then, just soak up this nice weather. Again, increasing cloud cover as we start to get into Friday, but temperatures are still warm on Saturday. It's going to be a windy day. Winds are really going to be picking up out of the south, so temperatures are actually going to be climbing back up into the 70s. So a pretty nice day until the evening. By the evening, that chance for rain comes back in. So enjoy the daytime. Yeah, right? I mean, it looks great for the weekend. All right, thank you, JC.